Yo, what's up? Jordan here. Today, I want to show you a few exercises you can do that trains your chest at home. So first of all, let's talk about the middle chest first. The middle chest is probably one of the easiest part to train. The exercise is very direct. Push up itself hits the middle chest. In order to maximize your chest, give least pressure for the triceps is try to go a little bit wider. Wide means your grip should be slightly wider than your shoulder width. Okay, in position. Go down your body and push. Okay, very straightforward. This exercise hit the majority of the middle chest and a little bit of upper chest. So the next exercise that can hit your middle chest too is not a push-up. This is an isolation workout. So I'll be using a water bottle, right? This is a very big gallon. So for those of you who can start with 1.5 liter bottle of water, this is a chest flies. So get into a floor. And the reason why I want to use one bottle is because I can nicely stand up and be more focused on the movement. This is how it looks like. Make sure it's balanced. You don't want the bottle to fall on you, right? Make sure it's stable. Squeeze up. Right here, as you can see, my chest is shortening. They are contracting and they are, and they are working. Okay, so I would strongly recommend you to do both exercise back to back, right? Start with a push up first. Do about 10 to 20 repetitions depending on your fitness level. Right after you finish a push up, move on straight to a chest flies. Now, here's the tricky one the upper chest. Upper chest is the clavicular head that is very stubborn to grow. Most bodybuilders, most fitness enthusiasts also struggle to build these muscles. So this is the easiest way to get started. Just place a chair here, setting up. Gently lower yourself down. And up. As you can see, the moment I push this in this angle, I'm actually pushing this angle, right? This works the upper chest area, right? Now, another way of training your upper chest is you can use the same bench, right? By just changing the grip a little bit, you can also target the clavicular head. Setting up. This is what I call the reverse grip push up. Lower yourself down. By doing this, my upper chest is actually firing. Okay, this also trains the inner part, right? So for this grip, well, I don't recommend you to go wide grip again because you're gonna give a lot of stress for your shoulder, right? Shoulder width is great. And one more thing, whenever you do any exercises involved in chair, make sure that your chair is solid, right? You don't want them to move backward when you do a push-up, right? This will get you into serious trouble. Find a wall, lean against or it, but here in this situation it's fine because it's carpet, it's friction, so it doesn't go away. I still have one more exercise that can really train your upper chest and also the inner chest as well. This is an isolation exercise. This is what I call the front raise, but in the underhand version. So when you do this exercise, make sure you from here, this position, and raise inward. Adduction, right? Adduct. This is how your upper chest and your inner chest are working. Right, as you can see, my upper chest is being stretched and being contract by doing this. So how to sequence this? I would say do a decline push-up or a reverse grip push up on a bench. Choose either one, do for 15 to 20 repetitions, and then straight away moving on to an isolation work. Do this for another 10 reps. Same goes to the middle chest earlier. Okay, that's pretty much for all these exercises. It's all about the combination, the variety, and the consistency of training at home. 
obviously it would be great if you can train in the gym because there are more equipment but today is basically just to share with you what you can actually do at home to get a nice chest.